Oh, you're actually back in the building? Yeah, man. What's up? What's up, man? Welcome to the Mahdi Show. You're another joke, so you know. Same old spot, same old spot. That's the point of being a coach, man. You have to be all over the place. I'm telling you. My outfit, my ideas, they're not going to make sense. You guys are going to see. Thank you. Different fight. It's going to be the same outcome. Thank you. Oh. Yo, I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to yell at him. Well, shout I'll put the keys right here for you. No problem. Thank you, bro. I appreciate right, bro. it. Thank all you. Right. Take a quick temperature check. Perfect. You can proceed right to the, to the check-in counter. Hello, sir. Very nice to meet you. He's being very What's going on? Welcome, come on in. <laughs> so, um, I bring that for after the weigh-ins. I look at it every day and I'm like, all right, it's motivation. I cannot eat that. The only thing that's open there is the tangerine one. But I didn't show everybody the best part yet. You know, and it's the mouthpiece. Who you know got sick mouthpieces like that? Right? The pow, bam. I did a poll on Instagram and I was like, you know what? Cause last time I was Superman. And I was like, you know what? It came out pretty cool. I liked it. It came out sick. And people were like, yo, do uh, Batman next. Do Spider-Man next. I'm like, Batman sounds pretty cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Batman. It came out pretty sick too. The outfit came out nice. So I can't wait to put it on. It's just the cape's a little heavy. You're working on it. But I don't make excuses. <laughs> I'm the only athlete that's got over 100 wins. I could put that on anything, right? I could put that any athlete that has over 100 wins. Come play with me. All right. Well, there's nothing if I win. If I win, I get to say, you know what? It's like Jordan. Like, you know, what you guys expect? But if I lose, I have to tweet out that me, my name is Shot Mahdi. I'm not good at Warzone. <laughs> Which, that won't be the case because I'm going to win. I got to hit the Jordan right there. Just, you know what I mean? They're like, nice and easy. Not even pulling a sweat. Not even getting hit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? They kind of killed me. I was behind the tree. I was behind the tree. That's bullshit. Oh. <laughs> I died two times though, and that was bullshit both, both times. That was bullshit both times. <laughs> i add a little extra to it, just the, the little extra right there. Ready to go. No, we're going to put on a show, steal the show. Sorry, Triple G. I'm off the show now. But, uh, yeah, the cape was good. You know, I'm in good shape. Looking to put him away. Put him away early.
Mhm. Okay. Do całego tego podejścia, różne treningi go oglądałem na, na social mediach. No jest, jestem jego jednak fanem, tak, ale, ale w czasie walki nie będzie między nami żadnej tutaj przyjaźni. Yes, I used to be a fan of Golovkin all the time. I used to watch his fights, follow uh, his technique. He's a role model for me. I was also looking at the way he throws punches. It was also something that was uh, my goal to achieve. But when we come to the fight, obviously I am a fan of his, but there will be no friendship in the ring. Do you want to say something? 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 And then... What do I want Да, ну на самом деле я очень рад находиться рядом с Геннадием. I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to be next to Gennady. Uh, Gennady sets example not only for me but for all young boxers, the boxers who just begin their career. And uh, it's an amazing opportunity for me to learn and uh, to gain advice, advice from him, <coughs> both in the ring and outside of the ring. Меня только радует это. Joe, well, it's been it's been a welcome break, really. I mean, I've done I've kept on top of training even through the lockdown, but I've got to spend quality time with my family, which is in boxing just can pass you by, and so I'm, I'm fortunate in that sense, and I've I've got to got the best of both worlds. I've trained hard and, and spent a lot of time with them, so I'm grateful for that. But I'm really looking to push on there and and get a win Friday night and crack on for a good 2021. John's got, John's got to do, do his own route, his own, own direction, and uh, you know the route is Mike Guy Friday night, and then children off in March. We can't overlook Mike Guy. He's got to get the job done Friday, and then a uh, big fight against children off for the WBA regular title, and then uh, after that, you know there's big fights out there to be made like Daniel Jacobs. Um, David Lemieux, Billy Joe Saunders, they're all massive fights out there and once you've got a title to defend, you know, then everybody wants to fight you because up until now nobody's wanted to fight John. We can't get returns with anybody that he's lost closely to or we thought he won and lost closely to. But once you've got the title, then everybody wants to fight you, so then fights will be open for him, you know, and he can have a great year next year. I'd like to see him have three or four fights next year, be nice and busy.